あなたたちの力をその技術をそしてその恐怖まで全ては私のものこの道何かが違う戦いで自分の無実を証明することを許してあげる始めましょう満足させてちょうだい悪い子たちはどこかしら逃げられないわよしっかり始めしなさい歯を食いしばりなさい Everyone. Hi! Long time no see! <laughs> It's been quite a while. And now, Honkai Impact 3rd has rolled out part two. And our live stream room has gotten a few new updates as well. Be sure to check it out, everyone! And guess what else? We're on Mars now. Or as the locals call it, Luo Xing. That's right. Right now, we're on Amber Street, spending some time in Long Xiao. And we're here to give you a sneak peek of the new version content. I'm thrilled to embark on this brand new journey with you all as we meet fascinating people and join in on amazing events together. I'm sure you're all excited to learn more about version 7.4 and Thelema. In the epilogue of Thelema's exclusive character event in version 7.3, we saw how she used fear a hundred years ago to subdue servants who came to her with ulterior motives, as well as her first meeting with Song Chue. Now, a hundred years later, Dream Seeker, along with a couple companions, are temporarily unable to reconcile with Lantern, one of the Seven Shoes. To divide the two bubble universes again, they'll have to head to Thelema's Masked Corridor to awaken her as the Shoe of Pleasure. She's wild and crazy fun, all wrapped up in such a small package. Ah! I want to be controlled by Lady Thelema, too! Aren't you afraid of being completely manipulated by fear? What if she didn't allow you to play Honkai Impact 3rd anymore? No! That would be terrible! Then again, Lady the Lima is just so fascinating. It's a tough choice for sure. <laughs> I'm sure all our captains out there are very eager to meet Lady the Lima. So let's give you a little more information while you wait. As a brand new S rank battlesuit, the Lima Mad Pleasure Shadowbringer is a mech type. She can attack quickly while boasting a rich combination of moves. Her chain blades create beautiful arcs from her hands while dealing ice damage. And when facing enemies far away, the chain connected to the blade handles can extend as needed to deliver more powerful attacks. Meanwhile, the Lima can wield her chain blades to deal damage midair, pulling distant enemies closer and knocking them down. When the Lima's kinetic energy is full, she'll use countless chains to strangle her enemies, knocking them down. With Astral Ring activated, her kinetic energy can accumulate more quickly. After summoning teammates to attack by tapping their avatars, the Lima's next several attacks will include Shadow Clone attacks, and she'll gain a temporary buff as well. When Ultimate lights up, the Lima will leap into the air to perform several quick slashes before the enemy can even react. After the version 7.4 update, the Lima's new weapon, Banquet Rose, and Pry Arm, Banquet Rose Faux Crown, will also be released. With razor sharp blades that slice through enemies and an extendable chain to chase them down, she is extremely aggressive and able to manipulate opponents at will. It's a perfect fit for the Lima style. The Lima's recommended stigma set, Splendors of Amber, will also be released. It will portray the members of the Seven Shoes of Amber Street, while also capturing the luxurious lifestyle of Ling Xiao's upper class. Afternoon tea, formal dress, and vintage cars. It'll take you back to a different time. You'll get a glimpse of Amber Street's local customs and taste for haute couture. Hopefully, everyone has come to know Lady Thelema a little better after everything we shared here today. Lady Thelema's elegant, graceful figure matches the pride in her voice perfectly. I wonder if the voice actress exudes the same aura as Thelema when recording. Speaking of which, Thelema and Lantern's voice actors have prepared a brief recording for you all. Maybe it will answer your question. Ready? Well then, let's listen in. 
宴の開幕を告げるわ。今日は思う存分楽しみましょう。誰が反対するというの皆さん、こんにちは。セルマ役の関根明です。セルマちゃんは、名家出身で、宴を開くことが好きな、とっても綺麗で高慢な女の子です。彼女はですね、普通のお嬢様キャラではなく、常に強いオーラをまとっていまして、支配欲を持ち、周囲の人たちに影響を与えています。とってもオーラが強く、セルマちゃんを演じる際は、私はすごい人なんだ今日はすごい人なんだと、自分に言い聞かせながらとても楽しく演じさせていただきました。セルマちゃん独自の魅力と迫力を、ぜひゲームの中で感じ、楽しんでいただけると嬉しいです。皆様どうぞよろしくお願いします。関根明でした。<笑>これ以上話しても意味はない。実力を見せて、戦いで自分の無実を証明することを許してあげる。皆さん、こんにちは。明かり役の花森ゆみりです。はい、声の方当てさせていただいたばかりなんですけれど、明かりさんは、こう、信念にまっすぐな人なので、なかなか言葉が、ちょっと容赦がないところがあって、とっつきづらくも見えるかもしれないんですけれど、それだけすごい真面目な人だなっていう印象を受けていて、責任を果たすことをすごく大事にしていらっしゃるタイプだなっていうのを演じていてすごく感じました。でもきっとこういう真面目な方なんで、同じ立場に立つ者にはきっとこう、頼もしい存在になってくれるんじゃないかなっていう面もあるんじゃないかなって花森は思っております。あとこう、親しくなったら日常生活でなんかちょっと悩んでる一面とかも見えてくるのかもしれないとのことで私も見てみたいなあかりさんのそういうところ楽しみにしてます。きっとこう、彼女は働くことに対してね、結構なみなみならぬ信念を持ってる人間なので、こう、働いてる者同士だったら共通の話題ができるかもしれないですね。<笑>だから共感できるところが、きっと、働いてるそう、社会で働いてる人なら、きっとあるはずって思ってます。他のキャラクターたちとのやりとりも、こう、デコボコしててとても面白いので、ぜひぜひゲーム内でチェックしてみてください。花森でした。バイバーイ。It sounds like the voice actress really releases her inner sadist during recording. Just thinking about it makes me even more excited. Lantern has grown on me a bit too. She's always so serious, especially when dealing with work and her responsibilities. Plus, she's got her everyday concerns to deal with too. Sounds like a stressful nine to five life. I'm sure there'll be some captains that can relate. I know our captains are dying to learn more about the main story's plot. In the main story chapter, there is a new mini game mode, The Seven Shoes in the Maze, that I haven't had a chance to share with you all. In version 7.4, three new areas will open up in the Langshou map, but getting through them won't be a walk in the park. Beyond the battle zones, there are areas that'll put our captain's wits to the test. During exploration, you'll stumble upon a triangular device. Interacting with it summons three spheres that'll fly in different directions. Catch up and attack the spheres to make them fly back to the device. The device is activated once all three are gathered back to it, unlocking rewards. Catching up to those flying spheres is sure to provide a real challenge. The version event will feature an invitation contest called Flying to Oxia. And by swapping elements, captains can connect three or more identical elements in a row to eliminate them and attack the enemy. However, it's important to be mindful of where the elements are when they get eliminated. If the eliminated elements are not in the same row as the enemy, they won't deal any damage. Some of the larger enemies can cast skills to stop elements from being eliminated, and they'll have more HP as well. However, the larger the enemy, the easier it is to hit them. Dreamseeker, Senadina, Song Chui, Helia, and Coralie will be your companions in this event. Each character has unique skills and attack styles. Take Senadina, for example. She excels in taking on multiple enemies at once. Most of her matching chess pieces deal damage that can penetrate an entire row. s i n a d i n a s exclusive chess piece, Drive Core, accumulates a certain number of eliminations 
and bounces back in the enemy's field to deal damage two times. Moreover, Sinadina can consume energy to draw enemies toward the center, making it easier to attack them. That'll come in handy when you need to eliminate elements in specific positions to hit enemies. Each character's attacks and skills come with their own distinct features, so captains are encouraged to explore them in-game. Now that we've covered game modes, we've got to tell you about some irresistible rewards. By clearing the event stages, you can earn crystals, source prisms, Honkai shards, and an event outfit. What's this? An outfit reward? For whom? Show me! I'm getting to it. You know, sometimes as an idol, you get the urge to grab a glow stick, put on your fan support outfit, pick up that limited edition backpack, and cheer for your Oshi. An idol? Are you telling me Shigure Kira has a new outfit? Is she supporting Cecilia? Exactly. In the outfit Fuzzy Pink Love for Sugary Starburst, you can see her Ida shirt, backpack, and limited edition badges. It's the whole package. Wow, those bunny shoes and Cecilia's backpack are adorable. I've got to finish the event and try this outfit out. Besides Shigure Kira, Fuhua is getting a new outfit too. Once a celestial, she evokes the thought of ink paintings and heavenly cranes. This time around, our designers have created an outfit echoing this theme. Feng Huang of Vicissitude's outfit, Crane of Tai Xuan. Wow, the long hem gives off an ethereal vibe. The sleeves look like crane wings, leaving the impression that the celestial is about to take flight. Captains who are interested can snag it from the outfit supply and give Fu Hua a fresh new appearance. That's the lowdown on the new content. But there's even more for our captains outside the game. Starting April 25th, Honkai Impact 3rd is officially launching on Mac. April 25th? That's the same day as the version 7.4 update. What a great opportunity to experience all the new content on my Mac. On Mac, Honkai Impact 3rd can hit a max refresh rate of 120 hertz and fully supports various control modes like keyboard and mouse, as well as controllers. Of course, Captain's actual experience may vary depending on the device used, so please stay tuned for more Mac platform updates. On top of that, we've also taken the opportunity to respond to some recent concerns raised by captains in the community, and we hope the responses provide clarity for all captains. Okay, we've covered the version 7.4 content quite thoroughly. It's time for our closing remarks. But before we go, we have a little something prepared for everyone. Be sure to take a look. Well then, see you again in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> むしろ過ちを隠したとしても我々は世界の大役逃げたければまずは父に赴かねば